Juno and a very small handful of other companies are working on a certain class of immunotherapy treatments for cancer, uh, if I understand it correctly, so-called CART cell therapies, correct? That's right. CART, Excellent. CART therapy and TCR therapy. So how important is it to be first to market with a CART? Well, time to market is always an important consideration, but it's worth remembering that these technologies are in their infancy. There's still, we believe, a lot of opportunity to improve on the clinical results we're generating today, which in of themselves are very promising. So ultimately, what's most important in oncology is having best-in-class clinical results. So both of those things are important. Anyone familiar with your company and your stock price will know that Juno was forced to suspend one of its CART trials in November after a couple of patients regrettably died. Uh, since then, one of your competitors, Kite, has submitted a new drug application to the FDA for a CART treatment that targets the same antibody, C19. If we look at this as a horse race, are you behind? We don't look at it as a horse race. Let me just be clear about that. I mean, and if we, if we do, to answer your question, we are behind. But we don't look at it as a horse race. We absolutely believe that the technologies that you're seeing today is encouraging as good as they are. If you go forward three years and look back, you're going to see improvements. And in fact, our lead compound in lymphoma already uses what we will argue is some best-in-class technology where we control more of the things in the production of that product that we think equate to efficacy and safety. So, you know, we need to generate more of the data, but we're quite optimistic that the data we're generating with JCAR 17, even though it's behind, could indeed prove to be best-in-class. And if that's the case, coming second is just fine. Now, the JCAR 15 trial had to do with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, correct? That's right. Why is that disease proving such a difficult nut to crack for immunotherapy? Well, we think it's most likely to do with the fact that when you treat a patient, an adult patient, with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, as soon as the CAR T cells enter the blood, they see the tumor. And then they start growing very, these cells start growing very quickly. And we believe that the toxicities from these treatments relate to how fast the cells grow. And in, in ALL, there's so much growth signal to these cells, they tend to grow faster. So that's why ALL, we believe, has is, is, is additionally got some additional challenges. Is it perhaps too hard now, and instead you should focus your efforts, and others should focus their efforts on lymphoma? I don't think so. I mean, we're far from giving up on improving treatments for adult ALL patients. These patients, by the way, that we're treating have got no therapeutic options. And, and, and I think all the data we have today, acknowledging the challenges you pointed out, actually, in aggregate, really encourage me that we can come up with therapy that may even be curative. You know, Hans, there are some people who worry that the industry and companies like yours are moving too fast with massively powerful technologies and not worrying, perhaps, about safety enough. Is that a fair concern? I don't think so. I mean, I, and I think, of course, it's the perspective that counts. And I can tell you, if you meet a patient that today has got relapsed, refractory, acute ALL, and can't get onto a clinical trial. And who is going to die? They're not going to tell you that we're moving too quickly. Do you have any updates to explain why Juno's treatments in particular have encountered this brain swelling that has proved fatal in a number of cases? Well, just to be clear, that, that's, that's so far been a problem that's pretty much focused on JCAR 15 and adult ALL. We have seen this toxicity in some other places, but it's rare. Um, and those updates, you know, we're still going through our investigation. It's a very thorough process. So um, no updates yet, but I anticipate we'll have over the next few months. At some point, you and others are going to have to consider, at the very least, pricing for CAR therapies. Um, any idea what it's going to cost when a treatment of this nature comes to market? It's too early to say, you know, I think the only good way of pricing a drug is when you've got the clinical data in your hand that supports the approval and you can make an assessment about value. But I can tell you the value these things are going to generate, we believe, could be very significant. For example, maybe the toughest reimbursement agency in the world is a group in the UK called NICE. The UK government put all of their reimbursement decisions through this agency, and they recently did a, a mock CAR T cell review where they looked at 
adult, uh, I'm sorry, they looked at paediatric ALL and asked the question, if 50% of kids on a CAR T cell are cured, that's an if, what would be the value generation to payers? And the answer came out at $750,000 per patient. So you realize if, if a single dose of CAR T cells can get 50% of children into a durable remission, that saves the system a huge amount of money. Of course, even more important is curing a kid of no leukemia. No question. Uh, Hans, are you worried at all about the dismantling of Obamacare, given that so much of the work that needs to be done and ultimately will need to be performed using your treatments has to happen in a hospital environment? I think it's too early to say. You know, clearly what's most important to us and companies like us is a reimbursement environment and a healthcare environment that encourages innovation. You know, if you think about the opportunity to reduce cost of healthcare, which we're all signed up to, there are, there are very few opportunities of really doing that without better technologies. You know, you're not going to get there just by cutting. You need things that, that are going to displace a lot of the costs we use today. Leukemia is a good example. The standard of care is something called an autologous cell, tr cell transplant. They cost from $400,000 to a $1 million. They come with a 20% mortality risk. We have to be able to do better than that. I hope, I hope we can. <laughs>